create a new calculation, click on the plus. Give the calculation a name and then click on done. The right hand side will now go through the options for this calculation. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set whether it's a three phase or single phase calculation. So we'll select three phase calculation. Now what we want to do is a maximum demand calculation. So we can select the installation type and this is straight out of standards and all the relevant load groups will now be shown. We can add manually or from a library. So we're going to go through the calculation example from standard C.2.3.2.2 and we're going to add the items that are in that calculations. So we've added items from load group A1. We're now loading from the library for load group B1. And we're just going to go through this calculation and we're going to load all of the items in. So as you can see, the relevant load groups based on single domestic are available for selection. So we're doing a mixture here of adding from the library and adding manually. So we're going to, here we're going to add a range. We've got one. We're going to split the phases up, same as in the standards. We can select amps, watts, kilowatts or horsepower and PowerPack will convert it back to amps. So we're now loading a dryer also in load group C. We're now going to move to load group D and add our air conditioner. We'll do that manually. Once finished, click done. We're going to add our instantaneous hot water system. We're also going to add that manually. Now for all users of PowerPack, you can build a library of commonly used items for the type of work that you do. Once we've done this, we're now going to hit the balance button to look at the results. We also, What we want to do now is we are now balancing the lighting and the 15 amp outlets by putting them on, nominating the phases that they're on, same as the standards. So we put the 15 pan outlet on red phase, the lights on blue phase, and you can see they've been highlighted in blue. Once we look at the results, we can see the results down the bottom under the maximum demand results, and we can see the higher rated phase is 40.05. We now want to size the cable from this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our load details. We're going to use use load from maximum demand and that will bring the load across the 40 amps. We're going to go our protection device, load a type C circuit breaker. We're going to rate that at 50 amps. We're now going to select our cable. All cables selections are available from AS3008 and they're all selectable from this screen. So we've got an XLPE cable. We're going to do a 3x1 trefoil. We're going to bury it. And we're going to bury it underground in ducts, in conduit. How far are we going to run this cable? We're going to run this at 61 metres. On our results screen, we can see that we have a warning. The maximum we can run this is 59.98. So what we can do is we can have a look. Can we change the run length to 59 based on the drawing? If we can, we can change it and our problem solved. We could also go and put in an RCD and do other solutions. If, if the run length was 69 metres, and we've got the warning. Well, we know we can't change that. So what we're going to do is go to our conductors. And we're going to up the earth size to 6 mil. And we're going to lock that in place and have a look at the results. And we've now fixed that warning by putting a larger earth cable on. So we've got a 10 mil active, 10 mil neutral, 6 mil earth. We also can have our own library. So by clicking on the library button, this is where you can build your own library of common items. So we can add our own lighting, outlets, air conditioning, things like that. Thanks for looking at our demonstration. Visit us at the App Store.